Growing up, my favorite food was a chowder that my mother used to make. I grew up in the Midwest, so, um, you know, we obviously had like, and in Wisconsin, we had like bratwurst and barbecue and things like that. My dad used to make fried, this really great grilled chicken, but my mother used to make this chowder that she learned how to make when she used to live on the East Coast. And my mother was a really good cook and she taught me a lot. I mean, she used to make couscous and that's something that I have on the menu today. So, but that chowder was really, I could eat bowls of it. And I learned how to make that when I was like in sixth, seventh grade with her. So everybody has that motherly, I think that motherly dish. When I think of, a cook or a chef that I see and I feel that kind of pride or I feel like a yearning to be more like them. A lot of them are the cooks that are working with me. You know, my sous chef at Sushi um, is a really dedicated, focused chef and I really admire the work that he's doing. I really admire the effort that he's putting forth. Um, my line cooks, you know, I mean, that's it's a really, really hard job and it's a very physically demanding and mentally demanding job. And the ones, you know, the, the guys that really put their focus forward and really the energy and, and the effort, I really admire that. The more time I spend in kitchens, the more I feel I realize it's about relationships and it's about um, your crew more than your food. I mean, I can make a dish taste the way I want a dish to taste. The hard part is motivating them to want to do that dish 60 times in one night and then for three months. So I think motivating them and finding out with each individual cook or each individual server what it is that they get excited about, what it is that they love about the restaurant and, and providing those opportunities and, and trying to figure out how you can motivate them to make the choices that you would make and motivate them to um, do the work that you would want to do. If I could be doing anything else, first of all, I can be doing anything else. This is a choice and this is the this is what I want to be doing, this is what I've always wanted to do. You know, when that moment comes and you realize, hey, you know, I can be a chef, wow. I mean, I grew up in Madison, Wisconsin, which is a really small town. There's not a lot of, there weren't a lot of huge restaurants then with chefs. When I met a chef for the first time, I said, wow, I can be a chef and you can make a living at it. And um, there's this whole world of colors and flavors and smells, uh, aromas and textures and Incredible people, you know, working in a restaurant is like working at the circus. It's like you've got this flamethrower over there on the grill and you've got this sword swallower on the saute station and it's it's just, um, so I do have a choice, but this is what I choose. My favorite, well, one of my favorite musicians is actually uh, Willie Nelson. Um, he has an album called Teatro that's uh, really good. It's got like kind of a little bit uh, Southern flair with um, a little bit of um, some Latin influence. But for LA, um, for some reason, um, I think of like Dr. Dre. Um, I think a lot of uh, like West Coast rap is really what I think of when I think of LA. I love that. So Dr. Dre, Tupac, that type of stuff. So it's a little var varied, but, but I'll tell you what, they're both great. Yeah, they'd make a great album together.